Hey guys, so in this video, we are going to compare the Bamboo Carbon X1 with the newly released P1P. Let's get to it. Now, if you guys want to see a full unboxing of this thing, it's also here on my channel. It was in two parts because the stream kind of messed up, but I did a full unboxing, live unboxing of the P1P to show you guys how easy it is to install, how easy it is to put together. Um, we, did even did a, we even did a test print on it. So if you guys want to check that out, it's also on the channel. Um, I'll probably link it in the description below. So I got my Bamboo Labs P1P yesterday, did some testing, and I sat it right next to my Bamboo X1 Carbon. So first thing we're going to notice is the differences between these two. This is a really, really stripped down version. As you guys can see, a lot of the framing um, with all the, the inserts, and the, this is the entire frame is what you're gonna get with a P1P, okay? That is the first main difference that you get. Compared to the X1 Carbon that has these nice paneling options, which is nice and smooth. You got a full enclosure, you got this nice door right here. Um, I got my AMS on top, but even on top, you see it's got that nice glass door that opens up. The P1P does not. It's completely open, there's no enclosure. It's basically a very, very stripped down version of the X1 Carbon. The P1P basically, right, and at, they advertise it that way, it's this very, very stripped down. There's All you have here are the minimum requirements to build the same core XY machine that Bamboo Labs has, all right? So, it has your extruder and your hot end assembly there. You got your spool in the back, you got your railings, and everything else along with it. So what other differences do the X1 and the P1P have? Well, let's start with the build plate. The Bamboo X1 Carbon has this build plate that is smoother, right? So as you guys can see, I got a bunch of um, glue, glue stick residue on there. Um, shout out to Uncle Jesse for telling us to just get the, um, the uh, what do you call that? The hairspray, okay? So you got the engineering plate, you got the cool plate right there for it. It's got both sides on there. It's got a magnetic base so that you can just stick the flex plate on there. The P1P, however, it has a coated textured plate. Okay, it's double-sided and it's still got that magnetic base that it can stick right on. All right, now the screen is very, um, I wouldn't say primitive, but it's like DOS. <laughs> it's very DOS-like as you guys can very well see. Now the X1 Carbon has this really, really nice touch screen um, UI that you guys can, you know, press, it's touch screen, it's, it's much nicer. But this one, it's really bare bones down to the base for it. Okay, so now let's check out these prints. Now what I have here are two identical files, okay, with two different machines. One is the P1P, the other one is with the X1 Carbon. Can you guys tell which one? Great, because neither can I, because the print quality is identical, you guys. This is actually made with the P1P, all right? It came out great. So this is a print in place uh, dry bones <clears throat> um, toy from Nico Industries, right? Um, all it is is basically the shell is all it's separate. It's all of its print in place prints like that, and then the shell is separate. And I just glued it on there. Now the quality is amazing, you guys. It, it's really smooth. It came out fantastic. It was printed with a 0.4 millimeter layer height. Um, I'm oh, sorry, with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle with a 0.2 millimeter layer height, and it came out fantastic. The first thing we printed during the live uh, unboxing was this scraper. It took about eight minutes, and this is the scraper from the X1. Completely identical, you guys. No differences at all. This one is the dry bones from the X1 Carbon. Also, nothing. No flaws, nothing printed out the same exact way, <clears throat> same exact file. And you guys, the print quality on this thing is incredible. So 
as far as print quality goes, there's no difference between the Bamboo Labs P1P and the X1 Carbon. They both perform amazingly well and they still print just, just as well as each other. All right, guys, so those are the major differences between the X1 Carbon right and the p1p so the p1p is basically a just stripped down bare bones version of the x1 does it still print at the same quality absolutely because does it still print at the same speeds absolutely can you use the x1 carbon slicer settings on the p1p absolutely those are actually the same settings that i used for the dry bones as well as no not these ones because this is um an onboard thing so um verdict is it a good machine abso freaking lootly Now, make sure you guys stay tuned for my actual full review video of the P1P coming here pretty soon. Again, thanks for, uh, for watching, guys. I, pre I appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.